come in on an accident like that, uh, something where the the metal is twisted, the glass is broken, uh, not having your PPEs is uh, it's an uncomfortable feeling. You know, you know that those are there to provide safety for you, um, particularly not having gloves. Um, so there is a split second where you make a decision like is the risk worth the reward on this and uh, in my mind it absolutely was it was it was one of those accidents where you're like wow this is this is it's significant you know i looked at the vehicle this is you can already tell it's going to be uh, basically a physical rescue like this is we can't uh, we can't just open the door and get this patient out because there was too much damage. I think I called Metro directly and then, you know, immediately you can, you know, tell them exactly what they need to hear. Uh, and we can, we can, obviously from, you know, talking on the radio and communicating, we can, you know, get that information across much quicker. And uh, The victim uh, was barely breathing. We call it agonal respirations. His head was down and he would try and take a gasp of air and he couldn't breathe had trauma all over his body. Um, so I reached in and I kind of lifted his head up to see if we could just open his airway a little bit. It was a two person effort to uh, use a bag valve mask and you know assist ventilations uh, for that patient. I remember uh, one of the members from engine seven uh, coming up to me and um, tapping me on the back and saying, all right, we got it, we got it. And, and I, I told him like, hey, I'm good. Like, hey, I can, I can, I can handle this. Like, I, you know. You know, most of the calls I, I go on, uh, once they're done, they're, they're done. Uh, that call, because my wife was a part of it, because it happened while I was on the phone with her, and she, she knew she had questions, and, and you know, what happened. And I, I explained it to her, but I think like most, uh, most fire family, uh, they don't really want to know what we really do every day, you know, because um, the parts of it are dangerous. There's no doubt about it. There's 3,000 LA City firefighters that do this every day. And whether I'm wearing uh, my turnout coat and I'm riding on a fire truck or I'm driving in my personal vehicle, it's for the same reasons.